Hi my friend, it's Doreen Virtue and it's really on my heart to talk with you today about the topic of visualization including vision boards and vision casting because that's something that I had done for 50 plus years before Jesus saved me. In fact, I was raised in a household that taught my brother and I how to use these methods and they do work on a worldly level. Um, I used them and um, was able to get a car that I wanted and a house that I wanted and relationships. But the thing is, unless those items or those circumstances are God's will, they don't last and they don't work out very well. And some people may think, well, so what? I want to enjoy that. And that's the thing is I didn't enjoy those things. Uh, and they would come and they would leave me very quickly. I lost that car. I lost that house. I lost that relationship. And, and so it was because a lot of these techniques are basically trying to manipulate getting what you want and trying to bypass God's will, which is not wise. Um, it's something that I did regrettably for many years and even more tragically, I taught it to others and I repent and I apologize for that. And so I'm here today to talk to my Christian brothers and sisters with a warning from an ex New Ager to don't get engaged with these techniques. Even if a church or someone who seems to be like a Christian leader is telling you to use these techniques, we have to be like Bereans and check everything against scriptures. There's nobody in the Bible that makes a vision board. I have seen a couple of videos of people twisting scripture to try to justify using vision boards. That's twisting, and anyone who checks the context of those scriptures will see that that's not what the, the Bible's talking about. Again and again, the Bible tells us to obey God, to trust in the Lord with all of our heart, and to lean not on our own understanding. We are to turn to God. We are to speak the scripture. We are to read and study the word. We're not to try to manipulate. We're not to try to control. I get lots of letters from people who've lost faith in God because they had this idea that God should answer all of our prayers like a wish granter, and when he doesn't, they lose faith in God. Well, it doesn't say in the Bible that God's a wish granter. In fact, story after story shows the opposite, that God, he does what God wants to do. God, God's will is God's will. He doesn't bend to our will because he can see the bigger picture. He can see what's best for us. He can see where we're going. And, and sometimes he allows us to suffer so that we will bend toward him, so that we will lean into him. And it's a matter of learning to trust him and to lean on him. So I would highly caution against using vision boards because it's that using your own will to try to influence what happens to you, and you may attract those things. When I did what is called in the New Age, manifesting these items, these relationships, is I found that they didn't satisfy like I thought they would. I was still hungry for more. I was still looking for the next thing. What else could I get? What would make me happy? It made me very self-centered, uh, very uh, selfish, self-involved, and I was more focused on my own happiness than on helping others with their happiness. And so uh, it's getting away from God's will is dangerous. It's spiritually dangerous and it can definitely lead us away from what we really need and that's Jesus. And that's all we need. And when we rely on Jesus and scripture alone, that's when our hearts are filled with the peace that everyone is seeking. That's the peace that Jesus promises us but we don't get it Jesus plus. <laughs> we don't go outside of Jesus with some sort of board that we've made. Now, of course, human behavior does involve visualizing. If I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to envision what I'm making for dinner tonight, and I'll go get the ingredients. But that's different than trying to conjure through pasting pictures from a magazine on a piece of cardboard. That's really a form of witchcraft when it comes down to it. It's a form of sorcery. And Deuteronomy 18.10 reminds us that God considers any form of sorcery or witchcraft an abomination. And that goes true for the New Testament too. That's in Acts 16.16, 16, Acts 19.19, 19, and throughout the Old and New Testament that we are not to try to conjure 
or manipulate or use our own will. And when we do, hopefully it leads us back to God. It sure did with me. It's very humbling when we go out on our own. God will give us a very long leash and let us stumble on our own. And then we come back with our tail between our legs and we say, God, please help me. We have a very merciful and forgiving God who understands when we are sincerely repentant, sincerely contrite. As James, Jesus' half-brother, reminds us in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17, Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. So in other words, God knows what our needs are. He's going to provide for the needs of believers, those who have repented, those who are doing our best to be obedient. We don't need to try to control or fix or change what God's direction is for us. Prayer is the means that God gave to us, and Jesus modeled prayer for us with the Lord's Prayer. So as tempting as it is, especially if you feel like your prayers aren't being answered, especially if you have a desperate situation, it's tempting to try to use these new age tools, especially if they are tragically being offered in a church or by someone on, say, YouTube or social media who seems to be Christian because they're using Bible passages. Be careful. There's lots of people selling classes or books on how to visualize and how to uh, make a vision board. Don't fall for it. You don't need those tools. What we need is to study God's word in scripture and pray for more faith and lean on God. As he says in my favorite proverb, Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Please take it from one who's used visualization for over 50 years. It works on a worldly level, but the results are very dissatisfying. And what does work is what God wants. That's what we really want. We only want what God wants. We want his will because he can see the big picture where we can only see the little myopic up close part that we want. God knows what our needs are. We should pray and study his word in the Bible day and night and then trust in him to bring to us exactly what we need. Thanks so much for watching and listening.